February 28th, Friday after Ash Wednesday A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord Can the wedding guest mourn? To mourn is to lament or grieve. The Bible mentions several expressions of mourning, rending of garments, wearing of sackcloth, smearing of dust on the head, omission of the customary use of ointment and fasting. People mourn for the dead, for tragedy that has befallen, and for sins and trespasses. The opposite of mourning is rejoicing and feasting, and people express their festive joy by washing, anointing, and wearing of clean festal garments. People rejoice at victory, harvest, worship of God, and weddings. In the Gospel, Jesus compares His presence to a wedding and hence call for joy and celebration, not fasting and mourning. He is the bridegroom in reference to the Messiah whose coming is associated with overflowing joy. But Jesus also makes veiled reference to the passion of the Messiah, a time of mourning. The praise taken away is an allusion to Isaiah's suffering servant, who by his voluntary suffering atones for the sin of his people and saves them from just punishment from the hands of God. Lent is associated primarily with penance, sacrifice, and mortification. But the season lead us to Easter. Christians are Easter people, wedding guests, not mourners from a funeral.